Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. Um, before I get started, just a few quick things. A lot of people have been asking me, hey, what happened? You were supposed to go live yesterday on Sunday. We didn't see you. Um, no, uh, I'm going live Sunday, June 7th. That's what I said in my last video. So there's a little bit of confusion. I had people worried saying, hey, what happened? Are you okay? I'm fine. Um, but yeah, my live is for this Sunday. I said Sunday, June 7th. Um, so I'm probably going to go live around 10 o'clock. A lot of people are asking me, I said Eastern Standard Time. So Toronto, Canada. Um, so if it's too early for you or you're not around, that's fine. There will be a video playback. You can watch it at any time after the live. Um, but if you can join me for the live, we'll do a little Q and A. Um, I'll also, I'll also show you guys, um, a lot of leftover prints that I still have. Um, and quite frankly, I just want to get rid of them. So I'm just going to blow them out and do a big sale on those just to get rid of them. So if you're interested in any of my prints, I've got a stack full, so um, I'd like to get rid of them. So stay tuned for that. And of course my big news, um, I've been reading everybody's comments from the last video and um, I love your guesses. Some people have some pretty interesting guesses on what my big um, happy news is. Um, so you know what, keep the guesses coming. So let me know in the comments below what you think my big news is. Um, I'm having a ball reading everybody's guesses. I think they're absolutely hilarious. And I'm curious to see if someone is actually gonna guess right. Um, so yeah, huge news happening um, Sunday. I will let you guys all know what that huge news is. Um, I'm very excited. My family is very excited. We're all very excited. Um, so that's all I'm going to tell you. And then I have people emailing me and saying, oh, come on, give me a hint. Or you can just tell me. No, <laughs> I'm not telling anyone. You're going to have to wait until Sunday. So Sunday, give or take 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Um, quick thank you to Barbara, Christy, Naomi, and Tammy. Um, for the PayPal donations. Thank you, ladies. It is uh, greatly appreciated. Um, I finally had a chance to um, resin my blue triptych. Um, I'll show you guys an outdoor as well uh, in the sunlight, but this is it. It's done. This is one of the three pieces, but look at that perfect glass-like shine with the crystal resin that I've been using. I'm so happy with this product. And I'm so happy I'm now using it on a lot of my pieces. It really does make a difference between um, resin and varnish. Varnish is still great. It's a preference thing. A lot of people have been asking me that too. How do you know if you should resin or varnish? It really is um, a preference. This leaves, resin leaves a hard glass-like surface, right? Hard. And then varnish is still soft, but it still has a nice high gloss to it. So it's really preference. Um, I find that the resin really brings out the shimmer and the shine, especially if I'm using the primary elements. Um, but yeah, definitely loving that. And then I'll show you, <clears throat> excuse me, really quick. I also finally had time to resin the big 24 inch round. Um, you will also get an outdoor shot of that as well because you just can't see the beauty of the colors. You'll see in the outdoor video, the blue literally just glows. It's amazing. But you'll see nice, beautiful shine. So the 24 inch round here and uh, the blue triptych are still available for purchase. Uh, if anyone's interested in those two pieces, the purple triptych is dry, but I still have to resin it. It dried nice and dark. It's actually very pretty, but that has been sold. Um, so yeah, the 24 inch round and the triptych, the blue triptych are available. Okay, so we're gonna get started on painting. Um, if you guys saw my video number 208, the shimmer and shine um, video where I showed you guys precious little Adriana, um, you know, pretending that she was pouring and doing everything and mimicking everything I was doing. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I'll link it up here at the top. Cutest little kid ever. Anywho, her mom ended up buying the painting 
um, in video number 208 and she took a little video of cute Adriana opening her new gift. So I'm going to load that up at the end of this video and you guys can see this cutie patootie um, opening up her new canvas um, painting that was given to her by her mom. Um, it's the cutest thing ever. I love this kid to death. So anywho, check that out at the end of the video. Um, this is also available too. This is my 10 by 20 um, Emerald Sea. Emerald Sea? I can't, can't remember what I called it. But anywho, that's available as well. Also has a nice coat of resin on top. Okay, let's get started to today's pour. I'll flood my canvas and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm ready. What we have here is a 15 by 30 inch canvas. It's looking a little crooked though. Let me, uh... Little wobbly here today. Wow. Okay, sorry about that. Much better, kind of, maybe, not really. Either way. There we go. Okay, 15 by 30 inch canvas. I totally put my apron in there, leaning over to do that. It's okay, my apron needed a little more color, even though it's white, but it's quite the design on here, eh? Anywho, I'm going, I've already flooded my canvas with my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed with Floetrol and water. Same mixture that's in my Loli Veffy bottles. Okay, you can get a lot of people ask me where to get these bottles. It's lolyveffy.com. The information is in the description below. And if you want to know how I mix my paints, check out video number 63. I will link it up at the top. I'm just going to pop the bubbles real quick here. A lot of people are also asking me lately, do you need a torch? Can I use a heat gun instead? No, you can't. Um, you definitely need um, a torch. A heat gun does not work on acrylic paint. A heat gun is more typically used for resin projects. Um, heat gun will burn your paint and there's not enough power in it like a hair dryer um, to move your paint around. Okay, colors I'm using today are Iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Then I have Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. Then I have Berry by Deco Art. And to that, I have mixed in Interference Violet by Primary Elements Color Art. You can get 20% off the entire Color Art website using code Canela120. So if you want anything from that website, I'm telling you, these pigments are to die for. Um, Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics. And to that, I have added Boysenberry. Okay, again, primary elements from the uh, Color Art website, Boysenberry. I really like that color. Now, you guys all know how much I love my 24 karat gold, and I've been using it a lot. But way back in the day, if you were a long time watcher, one of my favorite colors back in the day was the antique copper. Now, I used to use this a lot and I loved it a lot. And then I discovered 24 karat gold and I started using that. So I thought I'd go back and use um, the antique copper for this one. So antique copper by Folk Art. And to it though, I did add interference gold. 
So I did add a little bit of gold in there, just a bit. So um, that should be interesting to see how that turns out. Then we have Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. And to that, I have added Meridian Blue by Primary Elements, okay? And last, we have Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. And to that, I have added Interference Blue, all right? Okay, so I figured with this canvas, I'd change it up a little bit. And instead of doing my typical squiggly line, I think what I'm gonna do is A, get this little fluff out of there, is um, do like a, a squiggly line here, and then maybe another squiggly line here. Since this canvas is big enough for that, I figured I would do two squiggly lines. Um, I also forgot to mention, don't forget to make sure your canvas is level. Okay, you can get one of these off Amazon. They are listed in my Amazon shops. I made sure my canvas was level all the way before I added the white paint, okay? Okay, so let's see here. I haven't really thought through how I'm gonna do these squiggles. So maybe I'll do like a squiggle like here and then one like that, I don't know. There's, I, I'll just, we'll do that. Oops, I totally touched the paint there. And then here, um, maybe, no, let's go in the opposite direction. Let's go like that. I don't know. I don't, it's gonna be interesting to even blow this out because it's different, right? Uh, all right, so. Yeah, um, stay tuned on Sunday. I can't wait to tell you guys my news. So if you are watching and you are new um, viewer, um, hit that subscribe button, guys. It's in the bottom uh, right-hand corner of your screen. You can click on that and subscribe to my channel. And then um, you can also click the notification bell. And then that way, when I go live on Sunday, you will be notified on your phone uh, you know, hey, Canela's going live, check it out now. And then you will see my live and any future videos that I post. Um, so click that bell, notification bell, and click on all notifications, okay? And then at the end of the video, the last 20 seconds, I always have a pop-up where there's other videos you can click on. You can also subscribe there. And then I have this new feature where um, I am now showing you guys, um, or featuring, should I say, I ran out of purple here, featuring other artists. So you will see my face where you can subscribe, and then you will see another artist where you can click on their um, picture and it'll take you to their um, YouTube page. So it's artists, you know, just kind of supporting other artists, which is always a great thing to do. Um, you guys all know my awesome friend, Tammy Anderson, um, you know, and everybody else. I've, there's lots of people out there um, that uh, we all get along and we're all great friends. So I thought I would start putting people's uh, channels there. So for you guys to uh, click on and follow them if you haven't already. Okay, last color. There's a lot of paint on here. Oh my gosh. Oh, yo, 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 yo. That's a lot of paint. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Okay, let's um, pop these bubbles. Ooh, little cell action going on there. Okay, I got a little speck of pink there. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I'm actually worried because I think there's a lot of paint on here. And I'm Sorry, guys. I literally dropped the camera file. So I cut that part out of the video because I scream so loud and no one needs to be scared with my screaming. Um, so yeah, I did drop. I dropped the, the camera file, which is really odd because that hasn't happened in a long time. But anywho, let's get blowing. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I'm trying to figure out which way is the best way to blow this. 
So let's just go for it and see what happens. So it was very tricky trying to figure out which way to blow the paint. Um, tricky indeed. I've never, um, oh my God, I'm filthy. Uh, yeah, I haven't done that before, but I'm so happy with this. This is great. What a difference. Like just change it up a little bit. Um, this would be extremely hard to do on a smaller canvas. Um, especially with a hair dryer. Um, you could probably nail it with like using a straw or blowing with your mouth. Um, but yeah, and the, the antique copper is so pretty. Okay, so really happy with that. Um, let's see. Uh, when my camera fell, it dropped my torch and broke it. Look at that. See, I broke it. I don't even know if it still works. Yeah, it still works. Um, but I'm going to use my other one for now. Let's see what petals do. Oh, look at the cells. Uh, let's see, I'm going to torch these petals here. This is just so much less powerful. Like this is really great, but super powerful. Let's see here, this petal here. And I think that's it. I don't. Holy cow, this here. Oh, I hope this doesn't fall off the edge. I'm really, 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 really happy with this. Um, geez, Louise, I am just covered in paint. I leaned over to grab the camera um, before it fell and I totally missed anyway, but I totally got myself in the paint. I am happy with this. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close up and I'll show you what I'm looking at. Be right back. All right, guys, here it is. So I will show you guys again with studio lights on and then the studio lights off. So I'm happy I used the antique copper. It's been a while, but look at that. That is so pretty. I'm very excited about this piece. I'm loving all the colors and they all blended so nicely together. And I'm loving that negative white space. It's like a canal. See that? It's like a little river of negative space going in there. And here's another cluster of cells. Super awesome. And there are parts that didn't blend well when I blew it out, however, I love it, like this whole part here, all of this. I love that it's solid colors like that. It's so neat. And with the lights off, you're really gonna see. See, that's a beautiful cluster of cells, but I'll probably lose those, unfortunately. I will scrape the bottom of my canvas. Don't forget that trick. Um, scrape the bottom of your canvas with a popsicle sticker, run your finger along the bottom just to catch the drips. Um, but yeah that that will help um but we will see i'm loving this i'm gonna resin this for sure this is gonna be amazing when it's um got resin on it so let me show you guys now um what it's gonna look like with the studio lights off all right guys so here we are with the studio lights off and you can really see the difference again Look at how that just shimmers. These primary elements really make a huge difference 
when you add it to the paints. Um, I really like the effect and nine times out of 10, it also leaves like a shadow around the edges when it's drying. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but either way, it's just stunning. I love that cluster right there. Look at that. And this is gonna get a coat of crystal resin. Um, I'm loving using the resin on my pieces now. It really um, makes the colors pop, especially when you have the primary elements in them. So don't forget, you can save 20% off the entire color art website using code CANELA120. All that information is listed in the description below, along with all the other information you need to know, Amazon links, my PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate to my channel, um, everything, Etsy, Facebook, Instagram. So there you have it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Um, I love it. Like, it's so different, completely different. And I'm going to be doing more of these for sure. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, head on over, check out Juno's YouTube channel. Let me see, what else? Am I missing anything? Don't forget my live this Sunday, Sunday, June 7th, 10 a.m. ish, Eastern Standard Time. Um, you know, stay tuned for my big news and some chit chat and some Q&A and all that fun stuff. All right, so that's it for me for now. So thank you so much for watching. Um, sorry about the camera drop there. Um, had to edit that part out, but it is what it is. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys on the next video. And for now, stay tuned to watch cute little Adriana at the end. That's it for me, guys. Bye. It is a magnet. Cool. Can you help Daddy? Yeah. This is touch to my fingers. Let me hold that. Wow. Shimmer and shine? It is shimmer and shine. <laughs> is it from Canela? It is. Yeah. <laughs>